Ronin app. Using the Ronin app, you can experience monitoring assistance tools and functions such as gimbal control and camera control on smartphones or tablets, enjoying a more convenient and intuitive operation experience. You can log into your accounts to sync the footage to the filming app. This video takes DJI RS4 Pro as an example to show you how to use it and precautions. Downloading the Ronin app. Scan the QR code in the Quick Start Guide to download the Ronin app. Installation and connection. Remove the TX gimbal mounting adapter plate from the packaging. Install the adapter plate on the bottom of the transmitter and tighten the screws. Mount the transmitter to the camera mounting plate of DJI RS4 Pro via the cold shoe on the adapter plate. Connect the video transmission LiDAR rangefinder port on the gimbal to the USB-C power and gimbal communication port on the transmitter using the camera control cable. This setup allows the gimbal to power the transmitter. Connect the HDMI or SDI input port of the transmitter with the video signal port, port of the camera, using a transmission signal cable. Connecting to RavenEye. The Ronin app can be connected to DJI SDR video transmission via SDR or Wi-Fi. Slide right on the transmitter home screen to enter the Wi-Fi connection interface. Open the Ronin app Tap Connect to RavenEye and select Scan QR Code to connect for quick connection. Alternatively, select Wi-Fi name to search for nearby transmitters and select a transmitter from the list of search devices. Slide up on the Wi-Fi connection interface of the transmitter to view the device name and password. Select Wi-Fi in the system settings of your smartphone or tablet. Choose the device name and enter the password to complete the connection. The screen will automatically change to the RavenEye camera view when the connection is successful. SDR Connection Connect the transmitter and receiver in control mode or broadcast mode, and then connect the USB-C firmware update and video output port of the receiver to the mobile device using the RX to phone connection cable. Camera View Tap the screen to enter clear mode and tap again to exit. Gimbal Recenter Tap to recenter the gimbal. Virtual Joystick Force Mobile Enable or disable Virtual Joystick Force Mobile and adjust the settings. Force Mobile Tap to enable or disable Force Mobile. When enabled, the gimbal movement can be controlled by tilting and rotating your smartphone or tablet. The gimbal movement cannot be controlled by rolling the smartphone by default. Virtual Joystick Tap to enable or disable Virtual Joystick. Control the speed and smoothness of the gimbal by adjusting the control bar. Raven Eye Assistant. Tap to choose assistance tools, including zebra stripes and false color. Zebra stripes. When enabled, the overexposed areas in the image will be displayed in black and white stripes. False color. When enabled, colors representing exposure values of different objects will be added to the image. Focus peaking. When enabled, you can set the display color and percentage for color peaking or the percentage of aperture peaking. LUT Tap to enable or disable the LUT display. When enabled, you can apply preset LUT effects directly to the image. LUT files can be shared with the Ronin app via a file manager or a third-party app, after which you can tap Custom to select the desired LUT. Single Color Select a color and display the transmission screen in that color, with all color information represented in contrast. Histogram. When enabled, the brightness distribution of the camera view will be displayed. Histogram helps determine the exposure of the image. Waveform. When enabled, the waveform representing the current image brightness and darkness relationship is displayed in a floating window. Move the waveform to avoid obstructing the view. Shutter Aperture and ISO are displayed on the bottom of the camera view. When the transmitter is connected to a camera supporting PTP control and the camera is configured, the shutter, aperture, and ISO parameters can be adjusted here. For example, with the Sony FX3, follow these steps below. Connect the camera to the USB-C firmware update port of the transmitter using a USB-C to USB-C cable. In the camera menu, select Network, Transfer Remote. 
PC remote function and enable it. Channel switching. When the smartphone or tablet is connected to the transmitter via Wi-Fi, tap here to switch channels. When connected to the receiver via SDR in control mode, tap here to switch channels. In broadcast mode, channels can be viewed but not switched. To change camera positions, tap the icon on the left of the channel switching icon. Volume displays the volume of the current input source video. Raven Eye Battery Level displays the battery level of the connected transmitter. Photo Video tap to switch between photo and video modes. Shutter Record button tap to take photos or start recording. Playback tap to view cached photos and videos. In the Raven Eye settings interface, you can enable or disable monitoring assistance tools, use composition, and set frame guides. In the general interface, you can set the channel and switch the camera position. Camera control button. Tap to enter the camera control interface and operate the camera menu via the Ronin app. Ensure the camera is pre-configured with the correct HDMI output settings and CEC enabled. For example, with the Sony FX3, follow the steps below. Enter the camera menu of Sony FX3 and select Setup, External Output to configure the HDMI output parameters, such as resolution. Select HDMI Control and enable it. Cache Settings. Set the shutter options and max cache. Shoot. Tap the shutter button and the camera will start shooting. Cache. The mobile device starts caching footage after tapping the shutter button. No footage is saved on the camera SD card. Shoot plus cache. Shoot and cache. The camera and mobile device start shooting and caching footage simultaneously. Filming app. After logging into the filming app, you can input shooting projects and switch camera positions. After enabling AutoSync cache files, new cache files in the Ronin app will be synchronized to the filming app. Tap Upload History to manage synchronized footage. In Network Setting, Sync over Cellular Data can be enabled or disabled. 